short-term memory often encompasses events over a period anywhere from 30 seconds to several days because short-term memories need to be recalled for a lesser amount of time than long-term memories. The ability of the brain to store short-term items is more limited. In the movie 51st Dates, Lucy and her father got to an accident which left her with anterograde amnesia. Anterograde amnesia refers to a decreased ability to retain new information. This can affect the daily activities and may also interfere with work and social activities just like what happened to Lucy. In her case, she remained her long-term memory but unfortunately lost her short-term memory. Lucy suffers from syndrome which is the Goldfield syndrome, wherein it is a type of anterograde amnesia that leads to loss of memories after a head injury occurs in an accident. She is not able to remember anything after what happened. The short-term memory of Lucy are affected because of that incident. After she falls asleep every night, she can't remember what happened in that day until she wakes up. It also affects the long-term memory, which is there is a difficulty in storing information into her long-term memory. Lastly, the procedural memory. Lucy do a painting in the wall of their garage every night before she go to bed. This shows that after she had an accident and lost her memory, she preserved her procedural memory. It is a way how other people know how to draw, sing, or do any skills. In Lucy's case, she remembers how to paint. The film stars probably one of the best romantic comedy duos, Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler. No doubt this movie, which is The 51st States, is a must watch. The basic plot of the film revolves around Barrymore's character, who has a form of amnesia that the film describes as loss of short-term memory. As a result, her memory only lasts one day. As soon as she falls asleep, her brain reboots back to the day the amnesia began. In the film, Barrymore's character has permanent brain damage due to a car accident. When people have this condition, they are really are stuck in time. Their brains are able to encode new memories and store those memories, but the memories are made inaccessible to that person. In other words, the person doesn't realize that the memories exist. He or she will perpetually believe that it's the day when the amnesia started, just like in the film. In this film, Lucy and her father had an accident and this is where Lucy's short-term memory or so-called anterograde amnesia began. She doesn't remember anything that happened the day before. In her situation, whenever she fell asleep every night, the next day she woke up, she couldn't remember anything. But Henry tried his best to help Lucy to remember all her memories, but he couldn't do anything because her short-term memory loss was permanent. But he did not give up. He reminds her every day that many people love her and are always there for her, in the way of watching video tapes. We all have that one film that we can explain why, but we have watched it a dozen times and still fall more and more in love with it. This film is one of the best films I ever watched. Henry and Lucy are a shining illustration of not getting to tarnish or become complacent with passion. Her memory issue causes them to continue focusing on being happy. Lucy who has a form of amnesia that the film describes as loss of shorter memory, as a result, her memory only lasts one day. Her brain reboots back to the day the amnesia started as soon as she falls asleep. There really is a disorder called anterograde amnesia which fits the scenario described in the film very closely. Typically, anterograde amnesia is caused by some form of brain damage, most frequently to the area of hippocampus.